Meow! And welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, we are wrapping up 2022, and uh, Crumble is finally doing the People's Choice cookie for 2022. So um, just before it's over, they brought it out. Uh, so it's Tres Leches, which I had Tres Leches co uh, cake. Tres Leches cake. Why am I trying to call it cocoa? I don't know. Or cocaine. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to call it. it I mean, it was, it was addicting. So maybe that's why. Uh, but I, Trader Joe's showed me what Tres Leches cake is all about. And I have my reservations. We're going to, we're going to do a few things here beyond just this video. So we've got it sitting here. They recommend it sit for 30 seconds. It's done more than that, which it, it, I'm sure they encourage more than that. So what we're going to do is we have that right now. We're going to eat that now. I've got a whole second one. And we're going to use that as a, a test. We're going to let it sit there for probably a day. And then I'm going to do a video of me trying that too. Um, but really the whole purpose of it is to be this really soft, gooey, dense cake. And oh, it's, it's so delicious when done right. And I just don't think this is going to be anywhere as good as anyone would think. Anyways, if you hit that subscribe button and like and comment on this video, I would appreciate it. The other three flavors are very simple, but very solid. Um, they usually fall between like a seven and like an eight and a half. So I'm, I, I would say this week is very, very, very good. I love ultimate peanut butter, cosmic brownie you can't go wrong with, and golden Oreo is a nice mix of cream cheese and, uh, you know, Oreo flavors. So we'll, we'll get to this. We'll, uh, you know, jump in. I don't know if I told you to subscribe already, but a subscription would be appreciated. I uh, got plenty of videos coming. If you'll like and comment on this video, your likes are important. I uh, can't stress that enough, and I love when you guys comment. What do you guys think of Tres Leches? What do you think of Tres Leches cake? Not just what Crumble's doing, but Tres Leches cake for reals. All right, so you gonna grab this, try and be as careful as possible. I'm going to move this down a bit, hopefully, oh, yep, it wants to, uh, we're going to have to do something different here, I think, because it wants to spill, oh, shit, yep, it wants to spill, so, I don't know why I put that on before the review, but we have a complicated situation here, so, we're going to have to do a complicated thumbnail. Now, I don't usually move this around like this. But when I'm shaking, I know my hands are not stable. There we go. That's good enough. I'm sorry for the different thumbnail. It's just the circumstance that we have with the cookie. So I'm not going to try and waste your time no more. And move all this stuff around just so we could get this rolling, right? I swear I did not prepare, did I? No, I did not. Anyways, where we start? Of course, we'll start with Trace Light Chase. So, you know, last night I drank quite a bit, and surprisingly, I'm not hungover. You would, and not to be too critical here, but you would think I made this box of cookies. <laughs> So I'm not going to call out the location. All, all that matters is the flavor. But when you see the golden Oreo cookie, I think you'll have a bit of an understanding of what's going on there. So anyways, Tres Leches. Look at that. Yes. Yes. Go off. It's not soaking in like you would think it should. But it is what it is. Cut it and eat it. That's what matters, right? And it'll get all over the box, the, the sauce. So. Oh well. There's a strawberry too. I don't. I don't need the strawberry. We're going. We'll eat that separately. All right. Let's try it out. It's delicious. Mmm. And that top part really soaks in pretty well for, for the time that we gave it. It 
but it does taste very, very close to a tres leches cake. It is dry though, so it does fall a little short of some of the expectations that you would have from your traditional tres leches cake. But that's why we're gonna we're gonna see what happens when we let one sit for 24 hours, um, which is my recommendation. Just let it sit and really soak it in. Um, but I still think that's a very solid cookie. And I give it for the flavor and like the the sauce. I give it like a I'd, I'd say seven and a half. I think it does a fair job. It's just coming short on that texture. And, uh, you know, there's not much you can do but try and let it soak and see what happens. So, Cosmic Brownie. Yeah, that's shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. We're going to go ahead and try it. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Looks dense, as always. Chocolatey. And we're ready. The chocolate candies just really drive this home with the crunchiness of them. And it really is very, very reminiscent of a Cosmic Brownie. It's a very rich, chocolatey fudge cookie. And it's simple, but this really good, would go down well with some milk. Of course, a real Cosmic Brownie has a more fudgy texture, but this, as a cookie, does a really good job. I'd still put it at like an 8 as compared to many other chocolate cookies and many other brownie cookies. It's just not as amazing, but it does the trick. So now, we're doing Ultimate Peanut Butter. I like this one a lot. If they get the filling right, it's it's quite a joy to eat. There's no question about that. No doubt that it's one of their better peanut butter cookies when done right. So, just broke into it. And let's eat ultimate peanut butter. Mmm. It's kind of like if you take a peanut butter blossom, take the chop, take the Hershey Kiss off, and put peanut butter inside. It's super dense, super salty, and super sweet. So you have to be ready for a punch of flavor if you get this one. Again, I don't think I love it as much as I, have, as I have in the past, but it really does rock my mouth. And I would put it on the same level as Cosmic Brownie. It's like, okay, it's really knowing that one profile so well and so strong, but I've seen other variations of the peanut butter cookie that I just think are a little bit better because they're more dynamic, you know? So, again, I, I would say an 8 out of 10 is a fair rating for that. All right, so, I don't know what they were doing. I don't know if they couldn't see the cookie when they were doing this cookie. But y'all see what's going on there. A, it's not a complete swirl. B, look at that. I, I don't know what was going on this morning, but I don't know. My my thoughts and prayers to the person that made that cookie. So we, we're we fine. We'll eat it, and we'll enjoy it, and we'll review it. But that's just my one thing. Well, you, well, you know, they, they, the one the good thing is I got a piece with less icing. So I won't be rocked to my core today, I guess. So let's go ahead and try this. 
white chips, original base, and a cream cheese vanilla icing. They may have forgotten the white chips today, too, from what I'm looking at. Hmm. It's a very solid cookie. It's just not as good as I remember. And it might be because I don't have any white chips in here. The base isn't extremely different from Tres Leches. Of course, Tres Leches has cinnamon in it. This is not. But, you know, I don't know where the white chips were at. It does, it's very reminiscent of a golden Oreo. That There's no doubt about that. And I'm not the huge golden Oreo fan. But it really does honor that golden cookie. And then you've got the, the vanilla cream kind of in there. And I know it's supposed to have white chocolate chips to kind of drive it home. But I, it, it, they weren't there. So it is what it is. But I, I would say it was probably my least favorite. Still a good cookie. Um, still very solid. Albeit simple. So I, today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to give it like a 6. Um, which is crazy. Because I've given it like a 9 in, in, in the past if I remember correctly. But today it gets a 6. And it's solid enough. And people who like a more simple cookie may want to swing for it i think this is a, a four pack week um you know very solid options even though there's not a top tier cookie in this lineup i still like everything here so uh hopefully you enjoyed this review and i will see y'all around Yay!